Hey guys, and welcome back to another FSI MLB DFS uh, breakdown, where today we're going to be breaking down this Sunday 10-game slate on DK. It's not going to be a 10-game slate, I don't think. We have some major weather concerns going all across the nation. Uh, the LA-Toronto game, I'm fully expecting to get postponed. Same with the Miami-New uh, York Mets game. I'm expecting both of those games to, to not play today. It's The rain is 80 to 100% chance all day long, um, continuing on into the night. So I don't think those are going to be going. Uh, there's also rain concerns in other games as well. You got the Boston-Baltimore game, Detroit-Cleveland game, and the KC-Chicago White Sox game. I expect those three to still play, um, but pitching could be a little dicey in those. I, th I think the rain's going to be holding off until after the games play, but it's something that you're going to have to keep monitoring, and uh, we will be monitoring throughout the morning here and uh, into the afternoon. So, like I said, 10 games slate. We haven't had double-digit slates here in a while, um, but I just listed half the slate having rain concerns or probably going to be postponed here. So it's tightening up here quick, uh, but but let's just dive into the pitchers. Top of the pitching list here today is Mon Montgomery, 9.9K. A little steep for what I want to pay him um, for him, but I mean, he's clearly the top option on this slate here. He's, he's going up against Tampa Bay, who hit uh, pretty well yesterday uh, against, against the Yankees. Um, but really, he's, he's a top option. I don't think he can go wrong, too wrong there. Uh, Miner at 9-4 is just ridiculous. Don't, don't pay 9-4 for him against these White Sox bats. Um, especially, like I said, that's a, you got to watch the rain for that game. I, it rains in the forecast, but it's at like 50% right now. So things can change as the day goes on. Stroman, I'm expecting that game to get postponed. Uh, Cobb, expecting that game to get postponed. And then we're already all the way down to pitchers at 8-6 and lower. Uh, Trevor Williams is interesting. Uh, heavy ground ball pitcher going against Pittsburgh. He's not going to get uh, blitzed or anything. He's not going to be giving up four or five home runs. Uh, so I think he's, he's a viable option there um, if, if you want to go SP2 with him. But really, I'm going to be looking more down in the list uh, at 6-9 to uh, Matt Shoemaker. He's probably my favorite uh, SP2 on the slate. He's got uh, phenomenal control uh, of his pitches so far this season. He's, he's going up against a Seattle team that you know, they're, they're all right, uh, but nothing that I'm scared about. One crazy stat that I saw with Shoemaker is, so he didn't allow a walk in his first start of six innings. He also didn't allow a single walk in spring and he pitched over 12 innings there. Uh, so you're looking at, he hasn't allowed uh, a walk in over 18 innings at all this uh, season, and it probably extends into last season where he only allowed nine all of last year. So he's got phenomenal control, um, and, and he's looking locked in so far uh, to start this year. So Shoemaker, probably my favorite SP2 on the slate. Uh, other than that, I mean, you can make a case for uh, Ponce de Leon, Havetta going up against the, the weak Baltimore bats. GPP only there. Um, but other than that, there's really not much to like. There's a lot of poor, a lot of poor pitching on this slate. Uh, so let's just dive right into the bats here and see what we got. The the chalks uh bats of the day, or at least in my opinion, what they should be, uh, should be chalk is San Diego. Um the San Diego bats, especially the lefties, uh, they're going up against uh, Fulte, Fulton Evitz. Um, he, if you're just looking at fantasy points per game and you see he put up 10 points uh, last game against a strong Toronto offense, you're thinking, hey, you're not, that's all right for 6.6K, but he was boosted by striking out uh, seven Blue Jays batters. And that's really saved him. Um, but today he's going up against San Diego, who actually has the lowest K rate in the entire league against right-handed pitching. So Fulte's one saving grace to uh, helping him out is neutralized uh, with, with these uh, San Diego bats. So looking at the San Diego bats here, projected lineup, um, Grisham up top, Profar, Hosmer, those are the lefties that you really want to be targeting. Um, Cronenworth, if you've been following along with these videos, you know we love Cronenworth. 
His price is getting up there at 4.2, not as interested. Um, but like I said, with the top pitchers all essentially getting rained out or having rain concerns today, uh, I don't think your SP2 is going to be costing you too much money. And I think there's definitely going to be a, a salary for you to spend with your bats there. So absolutely love San Diego bats uh, on this slate here uh, going against uh, Fulte there. My favorite uh, bats, uh, other than that, and I'm probably going to be using them a lot more for uh, GPP and salary saving because I don't think they're going to be as owned, um, but it's Cleveland. You know, Cleveland's burned us a lot. I know they've been chalky on previous slates and they just kind of throw up the stinkers. Um, but going against Jose Urena here uh, today, Urena, has, he's, he's the complete opposite of Shoemaker. He has command issues all over the place. Um, he really struggled in his opening outing. Um, and he had those command issues all through spring training as well. Uh, Cleveland bats hit five home runs yesterday. Uh, they're cheap. Um, so I'm, I'm going to be looking at them to provide some offense here and just get on base with all the walks that Urania is going to be giving them. Um, so yeah, looking at their projected lineup here, Ben Gamble could be leading off at 2.8, uh, in a lefty righty matchup. He, Gamble struggled to start the season. I think he's like 0 for 8 or 0 for 9. Um, but he, he's a better hitter than that. So at 2.8, that there's your salary savings right there that you could be using. Um, Cesar Hernandez, Jose Ramirez, Eddie Rosario, Fran Mill Reyes. Reyes has been on fire. He has four home runs in his past five games, three home runs in his past two games. Um, at 4.1K, going one below him, Naylor. Uh, at 2.5 in a lefty-righty matchup. I just love the, uh, the spot that these Cleveland bats are in. And they're probably going to be my uh, my favorite uh, GPP stack. And they're going to be going into my cash line as well, I'm, I'm sure. Um, but other than that, with the bats, I mean, we just covered two games of the, of the five that aren't really impacted. Uh, but, you know, Chicago, they could do some damage here. Yankees, Yankees are priced up a lot. I, um, so I'm not too interested in them. Boston could also be, uh, very popular if it wasn't for their price. Uh, we had JD Martinez hit that coveted, uh, six K mark, uh, batting, but, uh, Xander Bogarts, uh, five, five Devers, five, four, um, JD he's out though. Right. I, I don't think JD's even playing today. Uh, he, he's injured. Let's see what DK has him at. Yeah, they have him listed out here. Uh, so, oh yeah, he's on the COVID injured list. So don't, don't be expecting uh, Boston Bats to be too popular here, but the, the pricing is just un unreal with them. It's like they're playing in course. Um, so yeah, so really just to kind of recap things, pitcher, SP1, you're probably going to be looking at Montgomery. SP2, their value is there, um, looking down. Uh, and then with bats, San Diego's probably going to be chalky. Cleveland's my favorite uh, stack outside of them. Um, and just make sure you're watching the weather here, guys, today. Uh, there's, a, there's a lot of rain going on all across the country. Um, and it's going to be important that you're paying attention to it and staying up to the minute on it uh, in case you want any of the pictures um, from those games. So wish you guys all the best. Uh, I am McKinley412. You can find me on Twitter at McKinley underscore 412. Uh, and good luck today in your games. See ya.